Princess Trixie Sparkle 2 is an MLP fan audio drama and contains mild language and subjects that might be sensitive to some viewers. It is intended for a general audience. We need to talk. In my dreams, I received some kind of warning. Probably your subconscious putting ideas into your head. G golden touch? The last time I saw you, you were telling the royal guard that I was stealing from my audience when it was you who was pickpocketing all along! Tricks, I'm reaching out here. I'm trying to be a better dragon. You... you stole from the princesses?! Ah! The great gem! No, no, not again! No! That's the gem. The one I told you about on the way to Canterlot? The body swapping one of us sells? Huh. Really? Doesn't look like it works anymore, though. That's a pity. Oh. My. Celestia! Did you just eat the evil body swapping gem? There's more? I suppose I could solve the crisis in Salt Lake City if you and your friends would attend to the Cider Festival affairs in Appaloosa. Something awful has gotten every pony upset, and the festival is going to be cancelled. The Dragon Lord desperately needs help in the Badlands! THE Dragon Lord! He wants me! The elements! Aren't they supposed to be glowing or something? I can't even... Get it out! Wait, mine's fine. What? That doesn't make any sense. How about this? We'll head to the train station and see if Celestia gets back to us before then. If not, we'll do what she's asked us to do. Board the train to Appaloosa and solve their crisis. Then reconvene in Canterlot. You mean since the last time you bothered me, what, like five minutes ago? No. Right. I should go back to Kennerlot and talk to Princess Luna. It's not like Celestia or Luna to ignore something so important. Now hang on there, Sugar Cube. The princesses sent us here for a reason. And everything we do, we do together. Uh, maybe you're right. I don't want the princesses to think we ignored a direct order. I'm just not convinced this is really where we're supposed to be. I still think I should have brought my element. Wouldn't it work without the others? I mean, we could, like, beam the magic light of forgiveness at ponies or something. I'm not sure elements work alone. The only one that has in the past was mine. It's almost like it's a conduit for the rest of them. A focal point. Can we just shut up about the elements for five damn seconds? And here I thought Looney was the only bootlicker around here. But the rest of you are just as bad. Princess this and princess that. Give me a break. When was the last time they both got off the royal asses and did something? Hey! Don't talk about the princesses like that! Besides, Twilight is under an incredible amount of stress. And you could show a bit of compassion. I'll leave that to the mousy one over there. Why can't you all be that quiet? I'm... Mousy? Well... Uh, uh, say, Goldie, Goldie, <laughs> uh, how come your wing's in a sling? What, this? I got my wing busted getting into a scrap with my older brother. No big deal. Your brother did that? Ugh, not this again. <laughs> Dragons aren't like you prissy ponies. It's every dragon for himself out there. And if you want to be taken seriously, you gotta assert dominance. It's fine, I can't fly, but that just made my victory over him even sweeter. I haven't spoken to him or any of my family since. They couldn't handle a girl beating a boy. That sounds just awful. Mm -hmm. Hey! To... 
Ugh. Get back on the train to Canterlot because we should check on the princess. Cousin Applejack? Is that you? Brightbird! Over here! Oh, land sakes. It's mighty good to see you. We sure could use some help around here. I take it you're still having troubles with the festival? Uh, not here. Uh, let's talk at the sheriff's office. Uh, the sheriff will want to see you right away. Well, howdy there, ponies. The name's Sheriff Shooting Star. You're not Sheriff Silver Star. <laughs> uh, no, can't say that I am, little missy. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm his newly appointed acting sheriff while he's away on his important mission. I gotta say, when I sent word to the princess, I expected a few royal guards, not the genuine defenders of Equestria. <laughs> she, you, I am touched. I important mission? Uh, right, right. Well, you see, that's why I called y'all here. Appaloosa's not quite how y'all probably recall. It's more than just a festival. We're trying to avoid a brawl. The apple orchard's dying out and we can't find the cure. Winter's gonna be tough this year for sure. The apples we've collected, we've made sure to stow away. But without them, there's no festival today. The ponies here don't want to share, no matter how I plead. Not a single one will give us some, they'd rather stick to their stubbornness, stubbornness and greed. That's not all we've got, now and the buffaloes, buffaloes at our backs. Downright without strength. their promised apple pies, their mountain and man attack. Sheriff Silver Star went out, hoping to talk some sense, and no pony has seen him since. Princess, you know I sure hate putting up a fuzz, but please won't you help us? Are y'all truly some ponies I can trust? We need those sadder sails, or the season's gonna be. It'll be a big old bust. Appaloosa's is not quite how y'all probably recall. It's more than just a festival. We're trying to avoid a brawl. With a buffalo friend. Apple orchards dying out, and we can't find the cure. Winter's gonna, Winter's gonna be, be tough this year for, for sure. The little dragon's room. Want to come? Look, the last thing we need is any trouble. The princess is counting on me. I mean, you know, us, but mostly me. Relax, Looney. You know I don't like to sit still and listen to expositional musical theater. I'm just gonna go for a walk. The last time you went for a walk, you robbed a treasury. Then I guess you're just gonna have to trust me, huh? Soon as Wild Bill finishes his sob story, he's just gonna sick us on some settler ponies to persuade them to share. I'll just get a head start. Intimidating ponies is something I can do. Goldie! Goldie, come back here! Something a matter, little lady? No, no, no. Uh, my dragon friend just doesn't like to sit still. She's gonna go get a head start uh, persuading the ponies to... share. Perhaps you should join her. You can track her progress. Make sure she's on the right path. <sighs> Don't really have a choice, do I? <laughs> <laughs> nope. nope. Meanwhile, I'd like to get a good look at those trees. Fertile land doesn't just turn sour at will. And I really want to catch up with our buffalo friends. Be careful now. Them buffalo have been mighty temperamental as of late. They've stopped being civil to ponies altogether. It's almost as bad as it was years ago. That doesn't sound like Chief Thunderhooves or a little Strongheart to me. If you're set on going, if you would be so kind, could you check in on the Sheriff's progress? I'm a mite worried about him. He ought to have him back by now. Well, I'd go with you, but I've got to wrangle all these festival goers and keep them from the festival grounds and the orchards as long as possible. Well, it sounds like we'll have to split up to fix everything in time. Trixie and Goldie can talk to the settler ponies with the sheriff. 
Rainbow Dash, you and Pinkie Pie head over to check on Sheriff Silverstar and see where the buffalo stand. The rest of us will look into the trees, since that seems to be the larger problem at Hoof here. Okie dokie dokie! Thank you kindly, and good luck. We'll all need it. so sad. You need something. What am I gonna give you? I don't know. I feel like a bad mom. I shouldn't have left you. What do you suppose is the culprit? <coughs> oh. There's a there's a number of reasons a tree can die before it's time, but I'm not seeing any telltale signs. Such as? Um, browning leaves from lack of water, soft roots from root rot, a critter infestation, Oh no, I don't sense any animals for miles. If the trees are withering, they'd be homeless and hungry. Oh, those poor things. Uh, some kind of spell could be the culprit, but I can't pinpoint anything specific without some serious research. Uh, only thing worse is some pony salt in the earth. Salting the earth? Makes it so things can't grow in otherwise fertile soil. You don't suppose the buffalo would do something like that, do you? Perhaps there's more to their conflict than the sheriff let on. Something's definitely not adding up! Pinkie Pie Rainbow Dash, you're back already? How'd it go with the buffalo? It didn't. They're missing! What do you mean, missing? Missing as in totally gone! We found their camp, but not a single buffalo! There weren't even any tracks to follow! And Sheriff Silverstar? No sign of him! What? Well, this goes well beyond the scope of a ruined festival. You don't think they're mounting an attack from somewhere else? I don't think they'd leave all their food and supplies in their camp if they were. Did you hear that? Unless that's what they want ponies to think. You don't know them like I do. They'd never do something like that. How would you know? Um... Every it's been pony? Ages since we've I seen think them. there's something. I know, because Pinter they're my like friends, Rarity. <gasps> Does that mean they cold napped the sheriff? Let's not jump to conclusions. Twitter. We should head back to it's Appaloosa and see if any pony has heard from the sheriff. Or any of the buffalo. Ugh, this just don't make a lick of sense. Huh? <gasps> Something's gonna fall! Watch out! Uh. Go! Oh, it was me that was going to fall. <laughs> you fool! You dug too high! Oh, sorry. He isn't going to like that. Quick, fill it in! The Diamond Dogs? What are they doing here? More importantly, why? There's only one way to find out. Um, actually... We might get there faster if we dig over here. This is where I heard them tunneling. Well, why didn't you say anything? I did. Oh, we're sorry, Fluttershy. We should have been paying better attention. It's okay. I just don't like raising my voice. Um, I heard it right here. Let's get to it then. I'm on it. Are you all right, darling? Uh-huh. Whoa! You ponies gotta see this! There's a whole tunnel system down here. Echo! 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 Shh! Pinky! Don't give us away! But why would there be a mine here? Gems? I don't believe so. At least, nothing my horn can detect. We'll just have to see where this leads. Quietly. Faster! Yes, faster! We need 
more gold! Much more! Big one! Come here! What's wrong with them? I don't know, but that glazed look in their eyes can only mean one thing. Magic is involved. Right you are, little darling. Right you are. <gasps> <laughs> Dragon here for a cider festival? N now that's that's close enough. I don't want you getting any ideas about these here prizes. Don't worry. Just here to get a good look. There's nothing saying I can't compete for them, is there? Well, no. But you'll have to wait till festival time, just like every pony else. I'd still be guarding my fritters if not for some pony. Or some creature poking around these parts. I'm keeping watch till they haul this off to the bank for safekeeping. <laughs> you don't say. You wouldn't need any help now, would you? I can be a very valuable asset. You know, to guard treasure. It's in my blood. As if dragons are known to hoard jewels and bits for their own greed again. I don't want anything to go missing before I can win them all for myself. Oh, but I'm no ordinary dragon. I'm a genuine pupil of the element of forgiveness, overseen by Princess Twilight herself. You can trust me. Besides, don't you have that pastry stand to oversee? Those aren't free samples now, are they? Because I see a few ponies sampling them. What? Get away from there, you varmints! Do it. Concentrate. Almost there. You're almost solid. I knew you could do it. It's okay. It's only Thunder Shadow. Come on out. See? It's called rain. It won't hurt you. Oh. <laughs> I won't let anything hurt you. Seriously? Again? Hey, Trix. Didn't see you there. You came all this way just for more gems to eat, didn't you? Didn't you? Hey, now. Don't jump to conclusions on me. Can't blame a girl for wanting to... Get a look-see at this here prize table. Hell, might even join the cider drinking contest if any of these beauties are up for grabs. Uh-huh. Sure. Come on. Twilight wants us to talk to the Appaloosans. He's gotta be around here somewhere. There you are, you little... Come on, Goldie! <laughs> You're Applejack's cousin, right? I sure am. So, who exactly is hoarding their apples or whatever? Well, uh, just about every pony, I guess. Including you. M me? <laughs> what do you What do you mean? I want this festival to go on just as much as any pony. Mhm. Mm so then, where are the apples you donated? Look. I, I would have donated some, but my meager shares don't even compare to Apple Bumpkins. Me? Look at Red Gallus. She has them all than I do. Do not. Do I know you've got three barrels in your cellar, Bumpkin, and at least you have in yours, Gala. But every pony knows that I got to the harvest last. I don't even have a barrel worth of money. Great. We get stuck with the hard job. Wait a minute. Isn't that the sheriff? Where's he sneaking off to? Shirking responsibilities again, eh, Trix? What will your precious pony princess think? Look, if I've learned anything since you and I last worked together, it's that a pony who looks like they're doing something sketchy usually is. 
We're not getting anywhere with these country folk, so we might as well see what he's up to. Right. <laughs> you do that then. I'll just hang out here. No, oh, no, you don't. I can't trust you alone even for a minute without you trying to rip some pony off. You're coming with me. Besides, I'm not stupid enough to follow some pony alone. Whatever you say, Looney. But I call full rights to mock you when this turns into nothing but you stalling. was an earth pony. <laughs> um, excuse you, rude much? Gold. Dragons can smell gold. Precious gems and metals. <laughs> I think our friend here has stumbled upon a gold mine. I knew it. I knew he was up to something. He's trying to keep it off for himself, isn't he? Let's remedy that problem, shall we? Don't just go barreling in there! We have to be sneaky! Ugh, Looney, you're such a buzzkill! Can you just trust me for once? Fine, but I am getting some gold out of this. Ugh! Sheriff? What are you ponies doing here? Ain't it obvious, partner? I ain't your partner, you varmint! You weren't? <laughs> ah, afraid not. Though it was a convincing tale, weren't it? This here's Gold Rush. The nastiest, greediest cur in the West. And no need to be formal, Sheriff. Y'all can call me Rush. Cause I get in, get what I need, and get on out in record time. <laughs> Is that an innuendo? But wouldn't that mean you're really bad at- <clears throat> I, I wouldn't go wasting your time with magic. I've seen to it that these bars have that same sort of spell they got in them fancy cells and canner lot. Mighty convenient, wouldn't you say? Yes, yes, most helpful. No more meddling ponies! Why on earth are you working with the diamond dogs? We are the gold dogs now! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Gold dogs! We dig up all the gold! That's right. These here little doggies sure know their stuff, don't you? Rarity, how'd you get yourself out of trouble with them the first time? I don't know! I can't remember! How could you do something so awful? Let us out this instant! Now, now, little missy, I wouldn't want to make my good friend Chief Thunder of Seer flatten you like a pancake. Seems a bit macabre, don't you think? What did you do to the buffalo? It's the harnesses. They keep them from thinking for themselves. He uses them to haul away all his gold. Well, most of y'all anyway. Can't do nothing with a puny little thing like you, can I? You won't get away with this. <laughs> you keep saying that. And I just keep right on getting away with it now, don't I? <gasps> so it was you! You're the monster that killed Bloomberg! What you talking about? Who the hell is Bloomberg? Bloomberg is the apple tree that we brought all the way from Ponyville. It was her favorite, you ruffian! A tree, eh? <laughs> now see, that's something I can't quite figure. I've been mining for months without so much as a hiccup till them trees started acting up. Ponies were asking too many questions, including this here sheriff of yours. He was poking around where he ought not to have, so I had to make something up about him going off to appease these here buffalo. Even had the princesses fooled, didn't I? <laughs> and then y'all show up. You ponies were just supposed to make sure this festival went off without a hitch. Y'all were never supposed to get this far. Now just how did you discover these here tunnels anyway? Uh, we might have... Dug the wrong way. What? The gold! It, it, it was gone! So the gold dogs make new tunnels! <laughs> Find more gold! What in tarnation do you mean it was gone? Uh. We dig and dig and nothing! I clearly mapped it out for you, Mutz! How could you get that wrong? Ugh! We will do better. 
The map was wrong! Yep, no more gold. We thought new tunnels would bring even more gold! Yeah, yeah! No more gold? No more gold! Now see here, you mangy mongrels. My magic found a gold vein that runs through the length of this valley. And it is never uh, wrong. Help me! Help me! With a bunch of magic uh, 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, what's going on over there? Keep going, Goldie. Me and this buffalo will keep them distracted. My name's Windrunner. Ugh, whatever. Quick, knock it down! Sick him! Just where do you think you are going, little lady? Out of their way. Get back, every pony! No, no! Get them! for hard labor just to move rocks? Uh, 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 well, you see, uh, gold is a mite different than just rocks. Um, guys, my pinky sense is going crazy. The gold dogs, they must be tunneling out through the mine support system. This whole place is gonna collapse. Every pony, run! My gold! I can't leave my gold! Your gold? I don't think so! It's no one's gold if you die! Uh, fine! Every pony okay? Ugh. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I've yeah. been better. Oh, good. All right, uh -huh. Applejack. Thank you for saving us, Goldie. What? You know, I had my doubts about you, but I think I'm starting to see why Trixie holds you in such high regard. If not for you, we would still be trapped. And it was you who dismantled the harnesses, wasn't it? I, whatever. I was just in it for the gold. Oh no! Sheriff Silverstar! Ugh. Are you alright? Wait, wait! Where is he? Where's who? Rush! We were almost out. I was neck and neck with him till he jumped me into the rock wall and disappeared. I was this close to catching him too. You let him get away? Of course. It was probably a teleportation spell, but it's short range, so we can't be far. Then let's go, we- No! Hmm. You have failed us. You who once we called friend, we cannot- Hmm. Will not stand for it. You ponies claim to care about the plight of the buffalo. But where were you when we were taken from our lands? Where were you when foreign magic kept us from our own minds? Where were you when we were shackled and labored for one's greed? Instead, it is only when one of your own goes missing, your hmm, Sheriff Silverstar, that you come to our aid. <sighs> That's not true. We- Now hold on just a damn minute. I stuck my neck out for y'all the second I heard there might be some trouble and got captured for it. Wandering alone is never wise. A leader ought to have known that. <laughs> a leader also ought to be able to stop one pony and a bunch of mangy mutts from taking over his entire tribe. Okay, I'm sensing some tension. If ponies were honorable, they would face the buffalo in the light of day, in fair combat, not by sneaking into tents in the dead of night with magic harnesses. Buffalo are not so cowardly. 
All right, every pony, let's just calm down. And ponies don't go making wild accusations after their good friends just save their hides. Enough! <sighs> it is abundantly clear that the buffalo can no longer trust ponies. Until you invaded our lands, we buffalo had never fallen victim to any such hardships or disrespect. Ponies are nothing but trouble and we will have no more association with your kind. We will track down this rush ourselves. What? But that's so messed up. <sighs> what was that, blue one? Okay, how is this Sheriff What's-His-Name's fault? Twilight's fault. My fault. I literally never met you before, and you're telling me I'm to blame? What, because I'm a pony? So one bad pony speaks for the bunch now? It's not like the buffalo go looking for random ponies that go missing. What she means to say is, if ponies would have known something was amiss, we would have come to your aid sooner. And we didn't let Rush go. He escaped. You ponies are in way over your heads here. Let me handle this. Look, I know you're mad. I know you want some pony to blame. And I know he got away. But like, don't you think we can find him faster if we work together? I've only known you for like two seconds, but even I can tell you're not that unreasonable. Both sides of this whole situation were screwed, buffalo and pony. I mean, look what they did to the trees. Without apples, apparently ponies are gonna like starve or whatever. I'm not saying this whole thing isn't messed up, okay? But no creature here was actively trying to hurt anyone. So this is how it's gonna go. We ponies apologize for not knowing and helping you sooner. And you buffalo apologize for lumping us all together and making wild accusations. We forgive you, you forgive us, and then we can find a nail gold rush. Sound good? She makes a good point, Chief. Ponies didn't just bring hardship. They brought us laughter and friendship and apple pies. Hmm. Perhaps my decision was a bit hasty. Yeah, all right. I might have said some things I regret. I'm sorry, Chief. Hmm, I too apologize. Our issue was with the one, not the many. <sighs> all right. The buffalo can forgive Appaloosa and Ponykind and thank them for their assistance. Right back at you. Thank you for your lesson, Blue One. You are indeed a wise pony. <laughs> Wait, lesson? The lesson of exoneration, which is an important facet of forgiveness. By acknowledging that both sides were hurt, but neither intended harm, you were able to show us how our hurt was keeping us from understanding each other. Wow, I'm good. Now that we're done patting each other's asses, can we maybe head back to Appaloosa before we all touch hooves and sing Kumbaya? Um, guys, we might have another problem here. <gasps> the orchard. Oh, lion's sakes. As much as I hate to say it, this might not be the worst turn of events. With the old trees dying, we'd have to replant new ones for the next season regardless. With fresh soil tilled up from the capsizing, we got a better shot that these here trees will grow strong. But how can you plant enough trees in time? For the promise of the pies yet to come, the buffalo will help Appaloosa. For now, we buffalo will pursue Rush while you ponies attend to your festival affairs. And that's how we get through it, by working together. That was easy! We found the sheriff, helped the buffalo, learned something, and solved the orchard problem in record time. Well, it's not over yet. We still have to convince the ponies to share some of their apple storage to make into the cider. Which, by the way, is a lot harder than you think. We'll see about that. Well, you know, minus the apples. 
Isn't it too late to make the cider? Not if we move up the cider making contests. The cider they produce can be used anywhere else the festival needs it. Now we just need the apples. Wait a minute. Has any pony seen Goldie? I actually uh, have so no. where she goes. Sorry, daughter. <laughs> Applewood. Now how do I convince them to go to Applewood? Where'd these come from? They're making a daring do movie? for the role of Daring Do. I was totally made for this role. What? When? Where? Tomorrow, in Applewood. I am so there. Pony, please simmer down. There's something you ought to know. I'm sorry to say it, but this here cider festival is hereby canceled. <laughs> now hang on just a damn minute there, Brayburn. Ponies know the sheriff always gets the final say. A sheriff Silverstar? You're back! Does that mean our orchard is safe? The opposite, actually. It's completely destroyed. But that's okay because the buffalo aren't mad at the ponies anymore and they're going to help replant. What? Does what do you mean, mean it was destroyed? Does this mean there's no festival? Does this mean there's no festival? No way. Sounds really bad. I got this. <gasps> you got a shake. Oh, no. Not that again. Perhaps. Pinky, some pony heads should try to explain the importance of generosity this time. Hmm? I guess. Please listen, every pony, and heed our plea. Now I know that y'all have seen your share of troubled times, even now when all the apple trees are bare. Come on, Appaloosa, cause the time is prime. To show every pony else that you still care For your cider's sake Stallion and mare To you we now implore All that it'll take Just a little share of each of your own stores I hate to tell you The apple orchard's gone But that don't mean all's lost together we'll be strong now the rest of y'all who came round for the cider fest your friends in appaloosa sure could use your aid winter's quite a fickle mess and she won't rest they used a apple stores for it to be replaced for your cider's sake stallion and mare to you we now Sheriff Shooting Star was gonna fix things without needing our apples. Tain't no shooting star at all. He was a devious pretender, that scoundrel gold rush. <gasps> he was mining for gold under the apple orchard, and the whole thing capsized. But the buffalo have already offered to help you rebuild. So the only thing left to fix is this here festival. Let's stand together to keep Appaloosa strong And we'll celebrate with cider all day long Let's band together to keep Appaloosa strong And we'll celebrate with cider all day long, yes Once again together we will stand up tall So the festival will be a thrill for all Appaloosa, the joy
choice is yours. What are your apples worth? Can you give up part of your stores for merriment and mirth? The one bad apple, a cur who's on the run. Break tradition and keep us all from fun. Generosity is gonna be the way. Instrument and pertinent to save the day. If y'all could take a look around and deep within, I know that you'll find charity for this soiree. I know that y'all have seen your share of troubled times, even now when all the apple trees are bare. Come on, Appaloosa, cause the time is prime. Let's put our best foot forward for the Cider Fair. Well, if it's food you're worried about, I would be happy to donate some of my cherries to the ponies of Appaloosa for the winter. And we have a few bushels of carrots we could see ourselves parting with. I have some extra cabbage. Oh, and I'll donate potatoes. I have strawberries. I got a whole bushel of beets. I have I plenty of carrots it. to give. I have lettuce. tons left over from last okay, year's harvest. Oh, oh, we have radishes. What do you say, Appaloosa? Care to give up some of your apples to give these generous folks a festival? Ooh, I will. Any pony that generous deserves a rip snort and good time. Me too. I have apples well, to share. Well, We'd love to help out with some apples. I guess we could part with some well, pink lady apples. apples. Then as Sheriff of Appaloosa, I say, welcome to the Cider Festival. <laughs> Much obliged to you, Princess. You and all your friends. It was nothing, obviously. Oh, we're happy to help. We only wish we could stay to enjoy the festivities, but a matter in Canterlot needs our immediate attention. Well, you'll surely be missed. Thank you again. Wait, we're not staying? And just where in the hoof were you? <sighs> Don't worry about it. Hmm. We have that other problem, remember? Oh yeah, forgot to mention, coming back from all that nonsense, I got this. <gasps> it's Princess Celestia's seal! What does it say? Uh, my dearest Twilight, I apologize for my absence. Circumstances outside of my control have kept my attention until now. I received your distress message about the elements. Fret not, as they will be just fine. They simply require more time within the tree to heal it before they will be ready to be removed. Huh. I hope the problems in Appaloosa were not too cumbersome to you and your friends, and as always, I await your reply. Yours, Princess Celestia. Oh, that makes sense. Does it? The elements have never dulled before whilst in the tree, and it doesn't explain why Trixie's was still active. The elements have never had any pony attack in the tree itself till Discord and Estelle had their go at it. If the princess says they need time, then they need time. No need to fret yourself, Twy. Does this mean we get to stay for the festival? I guess so. I'll write back to the princess and... <gasps> One of the cider making competition is a changeling! I must admit, I am quite parched after all of this. Best festival ever! Aren't you coming? You were so concerned about your precious prizes. I have to send the next scroll to the princess, don't I? Are. <laughs> are you being considerate of some pony else? Don't go writing home about it or nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have places to be, prizes to claim. Did that just happen? Your influence on her seems to be working far better than you thought. You convinced her to help free the buffalo, catch the criminal, and save everyone, didn't you? Maybe she's learning how happy you can be when you're considerate of other ponies' feelings. I, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Come on, let's go join the others. Where is it? Where is... what? 
Did you drop it? Look, lady, we gotta get this to the contest. Wait a minute. I know that voice. You don't know what you've done! <gasps> Estelle! the trees were dying you did this please uh, listen to me I I'm, I'm only trying to <laughs> now what we take her to the princesses immediately should I get the girls yes go I'll get her out of any pony sight we have to hurry Apple Jack Care to sign up for the cider drinking competition later today? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Cider drinking? I'm totally in. Good luck. Uh, Applejack, prepare to lose. <laughs> A likely story. Whoa! Hey, 